Okay, guys. Welcome back to another episode of What the Fuck is Going On Out There. And let's be serious about this. Life is not getting easier for anybody out there. I, if you think it is, you're fooling yourself. Things are definitely going to hit the fan one of these days. Whether it be tomorrow, next week, a year from now, it's happening soon. Life isn't going to be what you think it is. You're not going to wake up and get to play with your Barbie dolls, you know, shine your fancy car, and worry about eating steak. You're going to have to take care of yourself. The bottom line is the dollar is bottoming out. It's not worth shit anymore. The world's ran by idiots. And I mean, everywhere you go. You go to Walmart, you get pissed off at a cashier. What happens? You talk to a manager, and the manager's a fucking moron. Idiots are in charge everywhere you go. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start a video trying to help people realize what it's, what it's going to take to survive. We're overpopulated. So... The government's going to do something about that. They always have. They always will. They, will, you know, they, that's where in the hell you think AIDS came from. It's, you know, it's right up there with LSD and cocaine and marijuana and everything else. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to teach you how to survive with the basics. I'm going to start off with fire, water, and shelter. In order to get all those things that you need, starting off with shelter and water and fire, you're going to need tools. And you can get them very cheaply from them idiots at Walmart. Right here is a $15 knife that will last you as long as you take care of it. It's got a razor sharp edge. It's made of 440 stainless steel. It'll do the trick. You can tape it to a pole. You know, you can tie it to a pole. You know, it's, we're going to bring that into the factor. Cordage. That's going to be your number one issue in survival. You can do many, many, many things with it. If you can't afford a $15 knife, you can go ahead and get a $5 knife. It'll get you started. There's ways of making your own knives out there. We're going to touch base on all this. Right now, I lost a lot of the things that I own. I was preparing for natural disaster, economic collapse, whatever might happen, something's going to happen. It doesn't matter. What you do is you just need to have the will to survive. This is a $3 knife I picked up at a flea market. It's got a razor sharp edge. You got to look for, for 440 stainless steel and you do not want it built in Pakistan. That shit rust, it falls apart really quick. You want to take care of the basics. You know, you want to make sure you have ways of starting fire. And not, not everybody can go out there and do a, you know, a bow drill. And rub two sticks together and get fire. I can. You, you can too if you learn how to do it. What you need to do is you need to rub these sticks together until they reach 800 degrees and you want to save your ember and put it in something that's highly flammable. We'll touch base on that later on too, but I just want to get started. And I feel naked. I need my damn hat. Where the hell is it? Where's my hat? Ah, oh, fuck it. Another thing is clothing. You want to have plenty of clothing to keep you warm or cool. I'm advertising for Lowe's right now. We'll touch base on that as well later. But you need basic tools. You need to be able to go out. You need to chop wood. You need. You, you don't want to waste your knife on, you know, cutting down a tree. It, it will do it if that's all you have. But it helps to be prepared. So having an axe is going to be your number two tool right beside the knife. Because you need the knife for many, many different things. Little, you know, skinning animals, gutting animals. But a hatchet always helps. I mean, it will save wear and tear. You, it, I do believe in going tool heavy. Because you can always get what you need later. I got this knife from Aldi's. 
It came with a hatchet for five bucks. So there's no excuse for not being able to go out and get yourself the basics to get yourself started. You can pick up a box of matches for a dollar thirty-nine at just about any gas station. I only carry a few packs with me. I keep it in a two can right here. Here, let me try that out. Keeps it waterproof, and you could actually wrap a piece of tape around it because you're only going to carry it with you when you're, you use it when you need it. It, generally most people out there are smart enough to have a lighter in their pocket or something like that but if your flint gets wet you're not gonna be able to use that either so this is just to get started with I do believe in going overboard with tools this here is Damascus steel it is made in Ireland this knife will last you a lifetime I got it for 20 bucks at a pawn shop I'm gonna go to the next one. Right here. This is my baby. This is a quarter inch thick. I don't know if you can see that on here. It's got a razor sharp edge. It's built by Remington. It's got a leather sheath that'll last you no matter what happens. So leather is the way to go. You don't want to go with nylon unless you can't help it. There is nothing I can't do with this. I can actually cut down little trees. I can I can defend myself. I can do whatever I have to do. It's always nice to have big weapons, though. Keep people away. Cut down trees. Do whatever I have to do. <laughs> uh, what are we going to do to next? Something as simple as this. I picked this up for 98 cents at Walmart. Oop. <sighs> Dropping it. This is a space blanket. It'll keep your body heat in. It'll also reflect the sun, the sun's rays, the radiate heat. It'll generate heat and keep you warm in an emergency situation. Something as simple as this. Five bucks. Walmart. You can kill yourself a rabbit. You can, you can actually even take down a deer with this. I've seen it done. You've got to be really good with it, though. You can use marbles to take out a rabbit. Marbles are inexpensive. You know, I also have lead shot for this, which is... Yeah, I have steel shot, too. You're talking a little bit more money. If you don't have... If you have kids and stuff like that, you're not going to be able to go, just go out and buy toys. Uh, these aren't necessarily toys, though. They're definitely tools. Something as simple as this right here could be a lifesaver. This is super glue. You can pick it up for 98 cents or 99 cents at any dollar store. Okay? Uh, dollar Tree, you can get like five packs of these. There's not much in the tubes or anything, but it's something to get you going. Five packs for a dollar. This right here, emergency poncho. There's usually two of them come in a kit. Uh, you could numerous things you can do with these. You can actually make yourself a makeshift shelter to keep you out of the elements for the night, just to get you on to the next day, which you can regroup and use your head. Because sometimes it's hard to keep a head, you know, on your shoulders with an emergency situation going on. This one right here. If you don't have fire, this is a necessity. This will get you 30 gallons of purified water. What you do is you take one tablet of iodine you stick it in water you take the uh, iodine neutralizer you stick it in there too and you wait 30 minutes and you have a quart of water five bucks walmart this right here i always i thought this was a little funny this is a zombie let me try to get that right i can't i got a little glare there zombie apocalypse knife Good for hacking off heads of zombies. I don't believe that zombies are going to rule the earth or anything like this. But this is actually a knife made by Remington. And, and it's got high carbon steel. Which you can actually take against a rock. He, he makes sparks and ignite a fire. This was a $60 knife. I bought it just because I like the feel of my hand. And uh, Sorry. Ah. Uh, that was just something that I spent money on just because I felt like doing it. 
right here. We got to go into the huh? We've got to go into the self-defense mode. We'll talk about this on the next series.